Hi everyone. So I mentioned in the last clip that I posted this idea that we need to learn about Mashiach because in order to anticipate Mashiach, in order to be excited about it, we have to know what it is, right? The Rebbe told us we have to ask Hashem with sincerity for Mashiach, but you can't ask for something with sincerity if you don't know what it is that you're asking for. So I did mention over there an idea that I want to talk about. And I said, it's not only about wanting to get away from the suffering. So let's pause for a minute, because we know that the Jewish people's reaction anytime there's any kind of suffering is, Ad Masai Hashem, till when we want Mashiach? And that's absolutely the right response, of course. Um, we know that a big part of Mashiach's coming is that the suffering will end. It says that Hashem is going to wipe away the tear of every eye. Who doesn't want that? And we know that the Rebbe, or maybe you don't know, it's a beautiful story of the Rebbe from when he was very little, it says that the Rebbe, from as young as he could remember, thought about a time when Mashiach would come and we would be able to say, Odecha Hashem ki hanaf to be. Thank you, Hashem, for chastising me. Meaning that when Mashiach comes, not only is the suffering going to end, but we're going to understand its purpose and why we even had to go through it. But my point here is to say that it can't be the only reason we want Mashiach, and I'm gonna explain why. If you've ever been to a therapist or a life coach, frequently they try to focus you in and ask you what your goals are. And a very common thing that people do is they respond by talking about what they don't want. I don't wanna be sad anymore. I don't wanna be anxious anymore. And a good therapist or life coach is gonna actually encourage you to focus on what you do want. What are your goals? What are you working towards? Because it's pretty difficult to step out of a negative state if you don't understand the positive one that you're trying to enter. So, so too with Mashiach, if the only thing we're focusing on is what we wanna get away from, but we're not focusing on where we're going and what is so exciting about this time that we're trying to enter and make come, then we're actually not really looking forward to Mashiach. We're just looking forward to what was and isn't going to be anymore. But what is going to be isn't actually the focus. And it's really important to realize that. So that's just my clip for the day. Give you a little um, inspiration to keep watching these clips and keep trying to understand what it is that we're asking Hashem for and what it is that we're so excited about so that we can step into all the positive elements that are to come.